Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here, K from Scratch, and we are back with yet another Humble Bundle. And actually, Humble Bundles have really slowed down of late. It was funny. There was like one every bloody day, and then there's been none for about two weeks now. Uh, with the exception of one that is expiring right now, Game Dev TV's awesome Unity Course Collection. I'll get back to that in just a second. But first, let's talk about today's bundle. And this one is right on the cusp of kind of stuff I would cover, but I figure, you know what, I present it to you. If it's useful to you, it is. If it isn't, well, uh, it was nice to talk to you. I hope you have a good day. And today's bundle is all about data analysis and machine learning. Now, th this one is, is a collection of books from O'Reilly Press. Now, you probably know the deal by now, but the way it basically works is Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, books, videos, you name it. In this case, it's eBooks uh, from the publisher O'Reilly. And the way it works is you can decide how your money is allocated. You buy at different levels and different tiers, and you can have some of it go to the publisher, have some of it go to uh, charity, have some of it go to Humble. And if you so choose, and thank you if you do, you can have some of it go to to support game from scratch and this bundle is all about data analysis and machine learning now are those just you know buzzwords of the day or is there some value here and honestly I don't know I'm kind of on the fence with both now obviously if you work in big data if you are all about analysis and so on sure but if you're working in the land of game development, well, definitely, I think this is one of those topics that you should probably want to be aware of, but I, I don't know how important this is ultimately going to be towards the future. So anyways, as always goes, what I did, I buy this bundle, buy it at the top tier, let you know what you get, what formats, and so on. This one's pretty straightforward as it is a collection of books from O'Reilly Press who are very reliable in number one, having boring covers, number two, having good content. And I'll take a boring cover for good content any day, especially compared to the alternative. So what we're looking at here is a bunch of books at a bunch of tiers. There's a $1, an $8, and a $15 tier. At the $1 tier, you get graphing data with R. Uh, Practical Statistics for Data Scientists, Deep Learning Cookbook, which is probably, if I'm honest, the only book in this list that I'm probably actually going to read. At least I might need to come back to these for some reference, but that's the one that jumps out at me. And the Practical Tableau and T Learning Tensor Flow. And like, once again, this is a buck. So you buy it, you spend a buck, you get uh, five PDF or multiple formats. We'll get back to that in a second. Ebooks. At the $8 tier, or about $10.54, that's very specific for an about. Anyways, this one consists of another five books, Learning Apache Drill, uh, Visualizing Streaming Data, Applied Text Analysis with Python, Getting Started with Kudu, and Advanced Analytics with Spark. Now, a lot of these things are basically Greek to me, in that I don't speak Greek, by the way, uh, in that I don't really follow what Apache Drill is or Kudu or Spark. I'm not big in the machine learning area, so unfortunately, I can't give you too much insight in there. If you have something to share about any of these particular technologies, please do so in the comments down below. And then we get into the final tier. Here we are looking at this. This is a $15 tier. Here you get uh, architecting modern data platforms. You get foundations for architecting data solutions, Kafka, the definitive guide, uh, natural language processing with PyTorch and streaming systems. Actually, there's a couple here that I could come back to. This one, this one, and possibly this one. I actually like these more um, broad subject as opposed to a specific framework. But the rest are nice to have around as a reference or a library if you ever do jump into these worlds. And there's where the value really comes in. This is $15 for 15 books or $1 for 15 or for five books or it uh, eight bucks for 10 books. Yes, my math skills are that powerful. Um, so, you know, if there is a single book in here that is worthwhile, as we will see in just a second, is probably value in picking up this package. But if you're not interested in data or um, machine learning, there's probably nothing here for you, obviously. So here's what looks like when you buy it. Now, the nice thing with Humble is it is there forever. Uh, you can go and download your stuff. You can basically store it on their servers. I've had Humble purchases from three years ago. I can go and download them at any time that I want. You can also if it's available, send it directly to your Kindle device. But what you may be wondering is what format these books are in. And the great news in that regard is in they're in all formats. Now, basically, what you've got is every single book in this collection is available in PDF, EPUB, and MOBI format. So that kind of nails off your major readers. And PDF is pretty much the universal file format. PDF is generally what I go with in each particular case. Um, but I did pick up a Kindle recently. I've been reading more and more on it. So uh, 
Having it in a compatible format is definitely nice. If the books are small enough, you can actually have it automatically send to your Kindle, uh, but generally these are all going to be too big in this. Oh, no, there's a couple of them might be small enough. Uh, but it definitely nice to see that they're in every kind of relevant e-reader format that you are going to be looking for. And then finally, I mentioned early on about value. And I picked one of these books at random. I, I picked the deep learning book because frankly, like I said, that's the one I'm probably most interested in. And I looked it up on Amazon. So for this is $15 for the entire package or forget this one in particular deep learning was a buck so for a dollar you get this book and four others and as you see on Amazon the same version would cost you $37.97 for the Kindle version that seems a little high to be honest but yeah that's what that is uh, list price of 60 bucks on sale $22 off or oddly you can get paperback version uh Oh, no, $43. I, I really hate this mixing new and used stuff on Amazon. I don't know if you're with me on that one. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, if there is a single book in this collection that is of interest to you, you basically get 14 other books for free, and you're still buying it below sticker cost, which is why, even though this one's kind of on the edge of stuff I would cover and probably not that useful to me personally overall, I picked it up and I'm, I'm showing it to you guys because maybe at least a handful of you find this interesting. Now on the topic back to game dev specific, we are in the final countdown and I did a video on this in the past, but there's also the learn game development, uh, humble learn game development bundle going on. This is a bunch of stuff from uh, game dev TV, Ben Tristan. Uh, this is just coming to a close. So if you missed that video, you have exactly two days or just shy of two days to pick that guy up. So if you are interested, I have linked this one one as well down below. Um, definitely more relevant to game developers specifically. But if you are into the whole idea of data analysis and machine learning, like I said, if there is a single book in there that makes it look worthwhile to you, or frankly, if you're just mildly curious, even at the $1 tier, there's some pretty good value in this bundle. But the topic itself is kind of niche. So anyways, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the topic. Are you into data analysis, big learn, machine learning, that kind of stuff? Or is this not really in your game development sphere or your, you know, just general level of interest? Also, have you read any of these books that you could actually make a recommendation for or against? Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, let me know what you think of O'Reilly. I've always viewed them, again, terrible covers, Generally quite good content is my view. Uh, there are very uh, technical, well-edited books as my experiences in the past. Uh, curious what you think of them in general. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully at least a handful of you guys found that useful. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.